just look around me the studio is now full of different pieces of cyclic clothing we've got vests uh, jackets uh, jerseys uh, t-shirts eyewear uh, gloves and the bib shirts certainly so everything that i'm going to show you on the series of episodes right now uh, on monday i'll show you how to how should we wear for different conditions outside but today we've got four uh, main features of good quality cycling bib shorts uh, and then I will also share with you at the end of this episode two tricks about cycling shorts. Pretty interesting one and important ones. So let's start with main features of uh, shorts. First off, what I have here. Uh, we have some factory racing like Merida factory racing um, short, bib shorts. These are three quarters. Then we have a long ones. Uh, we have also uh, Pearl Izumi, uh, this all, uh, all comes from uh, Rad Discount, really nice sale of, of this stuff, I'm gonna um, show you the prices as well. We have some long ones, very warm ones from uh, Pearl Izumi, then something in the middle, then Shimano as well, warm and nice. Then we have something that you put under your, um, uh, your baggy shorts. The, there will be a trick connecting to this one and some of the shorts I have uh, because uh, we're going to compare something interesting here. So those four features of good quality um, shorts will be first of first and foremost that's the fabrics. Uh, secondly it will be the padding and the third one will be something that prevents uh, our um, our shorts from sliding up our uh, our legs our thighs and also something preventing uh, the upper part of our shorts going down which is the suspenders so let's just break it down fabrics I mean, you can buy uh, like Lycra shorts with the padding for ten dollars uh, in some markets, maybe maybe fifteen dollars. Uh, but uh, having Lycra doesn't mean that you have good quality, good quality Lycra. And believe me, if you just touch, you can just do you can do blind tests of those. Uh, here, uh, I would not be saving money. I'm, I'm quite often telling you that you should save money on this, on that, on bikes or, or components. Here don't save money because those fabrics are just so cool uh, this one is the mtb factory racing merida prologo uh, uh, volkswagen, volkswagen uh, team shorts really good ones you can feel right away that the fabrics are very very soft why do we need that uh, not just uh, to look fancy or so on uh, but especially here around this area of our padding uh, which is the area of our crotch we need to have really soft uh, fabrics uh, that will be actually kind of slipping on our very sensitive skin around our crotch area uh, so that we can go for many hours and also we can be uh, just wet here because we are sweating uh, a lot uh, and our skin just stays healthy so the fabrics are super important for example these uh, three quarters uh, on sales would cost 35 um, euros so that's just around 40 dollars and i would say this is really bargain for good quality well-made fabrics so lycra and lycra can be completely different things uh, on good quality uh, stuff good fabrics are just great uh, i will show you on another episode some like main brands you can you can search for uh, good um, clothing here we have merida factory racing certainly very very good one second one is the padding now one of those two tricks i'm going to share with you is uh, is linked to uh, padding but uh, first off you definitely want to have padding on your um, shorts for the summer for the short ones now for the long ones for like fall and winter time you have two choices you can have those uh, shorts with the padding and that means that you don't wear anything uh, just um, as a first layer this will be the first layer so anything under these shorts because you've got the padding but also you can buy cycling shorts without any padding and that will be only for for the winter especially when you want to wear 
just the normal uh, short uh, shorts um, just under your your uh, long ones so you can choose be between having padding and not having pads uh, on the winter uh, long um, shorts but for the summer you want to have padding on all of these what kind of padding how to choose one that will be the trick uh, just in a second so uh, we've got the fab fabrics we've got the padding and then uh, we should know one thing about about shorts when when we are riding uh, those tend to kind of shrink because we ride in such a position such a position and our legs are just you know doing the pedaling uh, work so um, this part of our shorts would go up and the upper the top one would go down on our back and we want to have our back our kidneys uh, covered so the third feature will be something on the sleeve here that will prevent it before sliding up our thighs uh, here on the Merida we have actually two different um, technologies uh, used two features one uh, this this end of the sleeve is made of different uh, type of uh, material which is not that slippery here on the inside but also it has uh, in addition to that I'm just looking at my smartphone whether you see it well it has some it looks like some small stickers some gel here and it's it, it is really having very good grip um, to our skin so this will work fine on many different um, deep shorts you would have maybe a stripe around it which would work well like gel stripe uh, on the shorts I have one of the newest ones uh, well you've seen me in this, these ones many times these are Trek factory racing so you know these quite expensive ones the sleeve has only this different kind of a fabric here at the end and I don't like it so much because those actually go up anyway that's one thing and other thing is also that especially after a few a couple of times when I was washing it those just just roll up like this so I don't like it very uh, don't like it very much I would really go for like <laughs> old school uh, feature which is some kind of a gel here it helps a lot and also it doesn't move so much then on your skin which is obviously a great thing then those suspenders we need those uh, there there are some really few guys who feel comfortable um, in uh, in the uh, shorts without suspenders but those help a lot because you don't have to worry about your kidneys your back being just um, naked uh, basically because your uh, your shorts are going down so these are quite handy uh, most of the um, uh, suspenders now on our shorts are made of a meshy uh, fabric which is really cool uh, because uh, you don't actually feel it that much on your body but one thing I hate, I, I literally hate about uh, shorts and different clothing is having this on my back it should be somewhere like here maybe maybe on the suspenders and on the outside because no one will see it anyway this can really cause some you know rubbing of your skin I don't like it this should be uh, fixed now pearl izumi they have the same one but this is like more soft on the pearl izumi than this one on Merida so that's just one little thing and also if you try to cut it then you will leave like very very sharp edge and it will be even worse so I would not recommend cutting this one all right so we have padding we have fabrics smooth really soft uh, fabrics and then two systems that are preventing our uh, shorts to be moving around our body very important one now two tricks number one is uh, connected to the padding let's just take any padding here like those Merida long shorts what padding does is that um, it takes the moisture away from our skin which is super important because um, uh, when we are when we have our skin uh, dry then our skin stays healthy so that's one thing uh, this is all it is all also the antibacterial um, um, material so it's very important but also um, it prevents uh, our veins uh, from from our veins to be 
um, to be really squeezed in when we are sitting on the saddle. So the shape of this is very important. Of course, um, women's style and men's style will be different of, uh, of good quality, on good, good quality uh, shorts. But what you have to do really uh, in order to be able to ride for many hours is to match your shorts, actually the padding, with your saddle. Maybe not many of you guys would think about it, but it does really matter. One simple example. If you see my Cannondale up there, uh, I'm riding the one of the best saddles ever for myself. Uh, uh, it's just like a specialized uh, quality. It has a huge cutout uh, and I'm, I feel great on these peep shorts with this quite thick padding on that saddle. But then we have here my felt uh, time trial bike uh, with the TT style saddle which is uh, it doesn't have any, any cutouts uh, but it's quite flat then this one feels awful on it because uh, I'm leaning you know um, to the front on my handlebars and then I'm just using my super old Cannondale Liquigas almost no padding uh, shorts I know this is kind of embarrassing because how it looks like it's really old but it feels so much better on that saddle uh, so I feel that my, my veins are just okay you know the, the blood flows on this one, I'm stopping blood flow right away when I'm sitting on that, on the flat saddle, flat TT style uh, saddle. So really coming to the store with your bike isn't a bad idea because you're coming with your saddle, you can just, you know, check the, um, uh, the, uh, the shorts on your bike and then you can make really, really good uh, decision. Also, uh, if you, for example, purchase 10 of these or five of these, three of these uh, online, just check the, those out uh, at home. Make sure you sit on the bike and then you just send back those that don't fit you. This is really, really important trick. And then the last one, last one is for the winter, especially for the winter, for all those guys using turbo trainers. I'm using it a lot. Now, have you ever thought of using such a shorts on the turbo trainer? It is a really good idea. This was uh, definitely the best um, setup for myself when I purchased um, the uh, baggy shorts of Mavic. And baggy shorts, that means that you have like the outer shorts, which are baggy shorts, and then the insert with the padding. And it's actually mesh, a mesh. I would use only this insert for training indoors uh, on the turbo trainer and it's been it, it had been just awesome uh, i'm really uh, hoping to to get ones for me this is not my size but um, this is also pearly zoomy from uh, baggy short this is only the insert so mesh uh, because um, the moisture transfer is just awesome on these and you don't sweat that much also because you feel almost like being naked and still have the padding you need. So this is trick number two. You can really consider buying only the insert for Turbo Trainer if you train a lot, like maybe at least um, once or two, uh, two times a week. You, you consider that. I really recommend uh, at least consider, considering that. Okay guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, Sunday maybe no uh, no episode we'll see maybe I'll just take free uh, with my wife and Monday you will get the episode on how to wear all this for different uh, weather conditions uh, outside thanks for watching guys cheers from Poland let me know what's the weather like in your area and I will see you soon bye